Hey there YouTube, so in today's video I want to ask you the question, which I'm sure you've already seen in the description or the title of this video, but it's this question. Does God care about arrows? Now, if you've been watching this channel at all, you know that I'm a hunter on a budget. But what I have not really made that clear is that I'm also a hunter who believes in a God who loves me and takes care of me. You say, how do those two go hand in hand? Well, in order to tell you this story, I have to go back to last archery season. You see, last archery season, like many of you, I broke an arrow or two and I lost an arrow or two. And by the end of archery season, to be perfectly honest, uh, my quiver was starting to look pretty bad. So this year I've been starting to shoot again and uh, trying to hone my skills and I really just don't have enough arrows to even really efficiently practice. And so I've been looking at what arrows I want to get and uh, but to be honest, like I said, we're on a tight budget. My wife and I just didn't really have the money this month to go buy new arrows. And so Friday night, before we went to bed, I prayed and I asked God, would you please provide me enough money to buy a new set of arrows? Now, I have to be honest with you. I am sometimes a man of very little faith. I believe in God. I believe he cares for me. But sometimes my faith is small. And I really just kind of prayed it without thinking, not really thinking that God would do anything. But the very next day, I was cleaning up in my office. And I moved something on a shelf. And I discovered an item on the back of the shelf that, believe it or not, I had looked for before, several months before, and could not find. But as I moved some things around, I found that item, and that item actually at this point had no more value to me. And as a passing thought, I, I just wondered, I wonder if these things sell for anything on eBay. I looked it up on eBay, found out they were worth something on eBay. I took a few pictures with my phone, listed it on eBay, and within a few hours, someone had purchased that item. And the amazing thing about it is after I sold that item, after I paid my shipping and paid my fees, it came out to being within 25 or 24 cents, I think, of the exact amount that I needed to buy my new arrows. And it was 24 cents over, not 24 cents under. Now, some of you may say, well, that's all a co coincidence. I don't believe that at all. First of all, I prayed and I believe God answered my prayer. Second of all, I had looked for that particular item before and I couldn't find it. Why was it that day of all days that I would be able to find that item? I wasn't even looking for it. But God had brought that out because see, I believe he had just stuck that in the back of that particular shelf, waiting for the time when I would need it. You see, Matthew 10 says this, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing or really a penny? Sparrows are worthless. There's plenty of them. And it says, One of them will not fall to the ground without your father knowing. And it goes on in the next verse to say, But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, because ye are of more value than many sparrows. You see, what the verse is saying is that God loves even the little tiny sparrows. But more than the little sparrows that he knows and he cares about, and not one of them can fall to the ground without him knowing about it, he loves me. He loves me so much more than that. He knows how many hairs are on my head. I can't even imagine, but he knows everything about me, even the number of hairs on my head, because he loves me. Does that mean that he always gives me everything that I want just because I've prayed? And I know it doesn't mean that, but it does mean that he loves me very much. And he takes care of me. And sometimes he gives these little tokens of his love and his blessings to us. If this kind of talk of God's love is something you're unfamiliar with, or maybe you have heard talk like this before, but you uh, don't really know much about it, then leave me a comment down below or send me a private message. I'd love to tell you more about all that God's love entails for you and for me and what he's done to provide us with eternal life. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment down below or give me a thumbs up. And until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.